Cheatering rats have been a staple on mono black control decks since the format was created. However, the small rat has felt lonely as it misses its family. And because of that, I decided to bring them to the party and make a rat tribal deck. All these rats have in common that they attack your opponent's hand, eating the cards on it one by one. However, these are not the only rats on the deck. Okiva Gang Chinobi is also part of disrupting your opponent's hand. And since rats like to ride vehicles, I decided to throw in a funeral longbow to help the little fellas get through without engaging the combat. The rest of the deck is filled with cards that synergize well with the previously mentioned ones. Okiva Recono Raid is a cheap enchantment that drains your opponents for a couple of turns, and when flipped, is a rat that gives your vehicles menace. Basilisk Gate is a way to pump our small creatures and engage in combat. Changeling Outcast is an honorary rat that enables ninjutsu and defile as a removal of choice. But if you prefer it, you can change it for cast down. Watch until the end to see how this deck performs, and if you like this kind of content, please give a like to the video and subscribe. It helps me a lot. So without further ado, let's jump into the games. Our first match is going to be against Mono White, a deck that has been somewhat popular recently and that a few weeks ago made a top two into a challenge. While I make them discard cards with my creatures, they run some that make them draw cards, so this will surely be an exciting match. The plan for now is to raise them while we keep their hands small, bouncing or discard creatures thanks to ninjutsu to play them later. It's a perfect way to do so. With these interactions, this battle quickly became attrition, while we traded creatures on defense and offense. Since my creatures hit a bit harder, eventually, I managed to take over the game number one. Only a few changes for game number 2, adding a pseudo board web for small creatures should be enough. This hand is better than our previous one, as we have more ways to discard my opponent's hand, but for now, I will cheat my ninja into play to get ahead in the race, as lifelink is an excellent ability to accomplish this. I decided to pump my rat this way, encouraging my opponent to double block, while keeping the board small, and next turn, I could add 2 creatures to the board either way. Or so I thought, as my opponent cast mana side back to back and then I my turn entirely. Things get worse as they keep adding more creatures to the board, and it's just a matter of turns until they start activating their clues. Luckily, I got rid of the rest of their hand by casting two rats, and with two Asilis gates on play, the match is in our favor. An interesting play you can do with your ninjutsu creatures is using the ability after the damage has been resolved. This is useful when you want to bounce your creatures to hand and not deal less combat damage. The opponent found more creatures and now they have the war advantage, so I decided to trade my one ones for some of the biggest creatures they had and keep the board small. However, the opponent kept finding more valley creatures and the race was getting harder to win. Finally, I pawned my creature to force a chum block and unfolded the rest of my hand. I decided to take the damage and pump one of my creatures to force some trades. After that, I play my vehicle and pass the turn. My opponent puts stone of power into one of their creatures, and this is where another cool interaction took place. Even though my 1-1 one, one has summoning sickness, its ability will still get triggered if I tap it with my creativity ability from the vehicle. This is helpful to drain your opponents incidentally and keep the race close. I jumped into offense and now they are forced to block. I drew removal and hit them for little to take over match number one. Match number two is against Mardu Synthesizer, a trendy deck that's somewhat slow but generates an absurd amount of card advantage in the mid to late game. As you saw, I decided to attack and not use Ninjutsu for now, as I don't want my creature to die from a lightning bolt. Now that my opponent is tapped out, I proceeded to cheat my rant into play and recast the other 1-1. One, one. The opponent plays a synthesizer and a creature to bounce the artifact, and decides not to cast Deadly Dispute. Since this is suspicious, I killed their creature and pumped my 1-1 one, one to bait removal, and kept my bigger creature alive. This is what happened precisely, and now I need to catch up on resources, but at least I have 2 threads on the board and 3 gates to pressure my opponent. This didn't last long as they removed one and added another to their side, 
but with no removal and three gates, the game is now over. For game number two, I decided to add four the best, but in retrospect, adding four the rest is probably better. It's tricky as my initial idea was to cast the best on turn one and get rid of their lands, and that could be game decided in the right scenario. I can crew the boat with a third land and swing for six for the turn. They keep not adding many things um, in the form of creatures, and while they have the resource advantage, I got the creature advantage, which is key. I keep attacking remover the creatures they play to put them into a clock and close the game before they stabilize. They did manage to play two creatures and gain six life in a turn. But more is needed as now they are forced to chump block not to die and be in the same spot as their previous turn. They rebuilt their board once more but it was not enough to stabilize, and they eventually lost the game on my next turn. The final match is against Kogit, one of the format's top decks, so let's see how this deck plays against it. This hand is acceptable, so I will keep it. I know they may have spell pierce, but I have two longbows, so it's okay to sacrifice one. They indeed have it, so we will play it by ear and keep playing our cards on curve. Again, we baited a counter, but in turn, we made our opponent tap out and get rid of a couple of hearts from opponent's hands by casting the two rats. I could play a right and about, but I decided that narrowing my opponent's options in this spot is better. So I attack with both rats in hope my opponent doesn't block, and that's exactly what happened. So I can bounce a rat and keep either in their hand in later turns. The only problem right now is that they play the only creature that denies our rats from getting bigger with Basilisk Gates. So we can rely on them to get through. However, if this turns out into a race and they keep attacking with it, I still can hope to win the game. With four creatures, at least one can get through. And if they block with the cat, I can get it exiled from the graveyard thanks to the school snatcher ability. This is exactly what happened, and I didn't want to recast the rats this turn. The opponent swung with everything, holding a card in their hand, and I proceeded to get rid of it. To my surprise, their last card was Prismatic Strands, which would have saved them a couple of light points, but I'm guessing they had Gilded All active, which made them lose the game. I decided to bring a couple of Durres for game 2 to get around their counter mic. I spotted a counter spell and a spell pierce, and since my hand is all creatures, the later is useless. I proceeded to start eating their hand with my rats, and if I found a land and they didn't have blockers, the ninja rat will feast on the rest of their cards. Squadron Hack is an excellent card to battle the discard package as it refills theirs. They didn't block and my initial plan went as I envisioned it. And now with a Basilisk Gate in play, their chances of winning are disappearing. Like their hand. I cast two more rats and I didn't want to sacrifice my 3 2 for the, two of the hacks, but I don't know, it was probably worth it. Either way, they consider. Now, if you're new to Pauper and want to test other cool decks, click into that playlist. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.